to another episode of Dolphin Quest Live. If you've been here before, welcome back. We're glad to have you. If it's your first time, thank you for joining us here today. You can expect to see us on our Facebook page every day at 9.30 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time. Today we're coming to you with some really exciting training. Um, we're gonna mix it up a little bit from what we've talked about the past few days. So what we're gonna highlight today is some um, really, really awesome work uh, that involves our Hilton Main Lagoon here at Dolphin Quest Hawaii. As you can see behind me, we have a large naturally ocean fed lagoon for our dolphins to thrive in here. Um, we've got plenty of space and these guys are actually a shallow water ecotype of bottlenose dolphin. So what that means is that you can find this ecotype of bottlenose dolphin pan-tropically worldwide in warm, shallow coastal waters. Now that being said, this ecotype of bottlenose dolphin is also non-migratory. That's why you can pretty consistently find them off the coast of Florida, in the Gulf of Mexico, Texas, things like that. But being non-migratory, um, it can be challenging for them to sometimes explore areas other than home, other than places that they find to be exceptionally comfortable. So what we'll highlight today is some individual training plans that we're working on with three of our members of our Dolphin Ohana. Um, and I will turn you over to Lauren to start explaining what we've got going on here. Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Um, my name is Lauren and I want to start by talking to you a little bit about our training here at Dolphin Quest Hawaii. So we are unbelievably fortunate to be owned by two unbelievable marine mammal veterinarians, Dr. Jay Sweeney and Dr. Ray Stone. And they set the bar so high when it comes to the health and well-being of all of our animals here at Dolphin Quest. And everything that we think about and do goes into their health and well-being. And so when we talk about training and we talk about training goals, the first thing that we think about is, is it in the best interest of our dolphins? How does it play into their health and well-being? Is it enriching for them? Is it mentally and physically stimulating? And then we break it down into what's reinforcing for every single individual animal here at Dolphin Quest. Because just like us, we're all different. We all find different things reinforcing. Same with our dolphins. They all find different things reinforcing and they all learn at different rates and paces. Now when we do training here, everything that they do is voluntary. So when they do something right, we say good job, we add reinforcement, whether it be a hug or a snuggle, if you can see Sarah in the background who we met yesterday here. <laughs> I'm snuggling with Halia. When Halia does something great, we say good job and she loves to snuggle and so we can give her some snuggles. Um, now, with training for Halia, Halia finds novel training really reinforcing. She loves to learn. She loves um, to swim really fast. She's really a high energy animal. And so when we talk about our Hilt to Main Lagoon training of going from our area to another area, we know that eventually that's going to be really reinforcing for her. Now, with Halia, she... Um, is in a different spot than some of our other dolphins are because we all are at different paces. So an animal like Ko will easily go from this lagoon and she will zoom all the way out into our Hilton Main Lagoon really easily and fast. And you can kind of see this ripple of water on, <laughs> on the ocean as she swims all the way to Stephanie over there on the surfboard. Really far away, Stephanie's waving. She's like, hey guys. <laughs> Now, um, Kayo has made it the choice to do that. And she always has the opportunity to come back home. These guys have the opportunity to swim under this bridge that we're standing on any time of the day. Now, Halia, I'm gonna show you where she is with her training. So she um, has gone under the bridge, but it's really tide dependent. So when she goes over under, it's a really big deal. So we're gonna see how she does today and if she chooses to go. And then Allie, my friend, on the other side of the bridge is gonna give her big cheers and say, great job, Aaliyah, if she goes. So let's you see. <laughs> now, <laughs> kind of, now everything she does, she chooses to do and we're all different. So it looks like Aaliyah's thinking about it. She's looking at it. And she's like, oh, I don't know. 
I'm gonna come back to Sarah. Now, if she chooses not to go, that's completely okay. She'll get there on her own. And it's just like us. I have a five-year-old daughter who's getting ready to go to kindergarten, and she's really nervous with new things. And so she's gonna love kindergarten one day. I know she will, because she loves playing with friends. She loves learning, but it's gonna take her a little bit of time to get on that bus that first day of school. I know I'm anticipating that. Kind of like Halea, I know that she'll be successful and she'll go eventually, but it's taken her a little bit more time than some of our other dolphins. Now, two of the other dolphins we're gonna to highlight today are Lehua and Kale, and they're both at different spots with their training too. So we're gonna walk over to our Hilton Main Lagoon docks and show you what their training's like. And as we walk, Erica's gonna be answering any questions that you guys have. Hi, Erica, we have an aloha from Houston, Texas from Angela. Hello, Angela, thank you for joining us today. And then Davey says that um, they can see the, Halea's brain trying to figure it out. <laughs> Halea is an incredibly intelligent animal. Um, not only does she find high energy behaviors really reinforcing, but learning new things can be really reinforcing for her as well. So it's really exciting for us to see her work through the step-by-step -step of figuring out something that we might think is simple, but to her might be very challenging to go into that new area, especially if she's leaving the comfort of what she's known her whole life. Um, so it, it's really fun to, to see her think through that and work through that at her own pace. We have an aloha from Davy in Wisconsin. Hey, Wisconsin, I hope you're staying warm up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends, keep those questions coming. We've got a couple of seconds before we make our way over to our Hilton Main Lagoon area. Um, now, like we said, our lagoon is naturally fed by the ocean water. So the water is the same, the environment is the same, the concept's just a little bit different, right? Um, because our family was pretty much all born right here in these lagoons, they're very, very comfortable being at home. And some of them have actually never seen this lagoon area before. So what I'm gonna do is head on down to the docks. I'm gonna let you guys take a look at the expanse of the lagoon really quickly. And then we'll join you down there so that you guys can get an up close look at Lehua's progress as she works through her Hilton Main Lagoon training. And we want to say hi to Tina too. Thanks for the shout out, Tina. Hi, Tina. <laughs> I actually think I know Tina. Tina Chavez. All right, my friends. So we are joined um, on the docks leading out to Hilton Main Lagoon. You can see there is just a, a very um, slim pathway here that separates um, our area from the Hilton Main Lagoon area behind us. Um, what you're looking at here is a channel through the fence line underneath our docks. Now, um, it's simply just like a doorway. So all we're asking these guys to do is swim through that doorway into a new, essentially room in our house that we're able to provide for them here. You can see Lauren making her way through. <laughs> a regular old mermaid. Um, now what I want you guys to do is take a look into our lagoon area. You'll see Lehua here. She is a seven year old female born right here at Dolphin Quest Hawaii. And during her training, um, one thing that she's found challenging is making the leap from our lagoon into the Hilton Main Lagoon. So she's progressed a little bit farther past where Halea is. Um, and today we're gonna see if we can take a look at that. So when we train, we train in what's called approximation or baby steps. So day by day, little by little, we're gonna ask Halea or, and Lehua um, to swim through this gate channel little by little. So if you guys take a look, you'll see today as she makes her way over. <laughs> Sizing up the situation. You can see that blowhole going under. And then day by day, we're keeping track of her progress. So today, if Lehua only makes it to have her blowhole through the door, that's A-OK -okay with us. We'll remember where she's at so that tomorrow we can see if she can go a little bit farther. Um, now, here's the thing. This is home. This is where we're comfortable. And we see just like us, sometimes they make that big leap and then they're like, OK, I just got to go back home. I have to regroup for a second. So as Lehua makes her way back to the docks over here, um, she obviously always has that choice to go explore yeah. if she needs to. We want to say aloha to Bonnie from Maryland and Alvaro from Spain. I'll oh, welcome you guys. All right, my friends. Now you've seen Ko making her way through the gate channel here. 
Um, so Lehua, her progress where she's just barely peeking that head through the door. Keo is much farther in her training uh, in the Hilton Main Lagoon. She is making her way all the way out at this point to hang out with some of our trainers on the farther side and is even comfortable enough to come hang out with us on the beach, to snuggle, um, to jump around and kind of show off that athleticism as well becoming very, very comfortable and confident in this new lagoon area. Sometimes what we can also do is pair two dolphins with one another so that maybe somewhere along the line, mom and daughter can talk and, and mom can give her that encouragement to say, yeah, come on out with me, check it out. Such a cool place. And then as they return on their own, um, we'll take that opportunity to recognize them, thank them for coming to be a part of this training and then ask them to go explore. So what we're gonna do is get ready to ask Ko to swim all the way out into the Hilton Main Lagoon. So guys, follow her as she makes her way all the way out to Stephanie on the surfboard, way out there. An awesome example of the different levels of comfortability, how everyone learns a little bit differently as well. And as they're showing us that they're comfortable to take that next step, we'll let them do it. I'll check her out zooming around out there. <laughs> now I know it's far away, um, but one thing we're able to do here with these guys is also support conservation efforts here in our own backyard. Here at Dolphin Quest, and particularly at Dolphin Quest Hawaii, we're supporters of the Cascadia Research Project going on around our islands. What these researchers are doing are looking for tail flukes just like that and dorsal fins of the wild cetacean population um, to get a better idea of who's out there, how many of which species are hanging around in our waters, and um, to help us better assess the health of our oceans. So in looking for those tails and those dorsal fins, uh, they can ID them for years and years to come and track that population very uh, accurately. So let's give a shout out to Bailey and Jackson from Washington and State and South Carolina. They have a stuffed animal named Lehua that sends her love to the real Lehua. Hi, Lehua. <laughs> yeah. Nice work. Now, guys, um, we want to thank you for joining us here today. Um, we're doing our part to help continue to conserve our wild population of dolphins here. And of course, as always, we're continuing to share our love and our support for our dolphins here and our support for you all as well. And we know some of you might not be able to have the chance right now to come and take a look at these flukes and dorsal fins up close. But we want you to know that when you're ready to come back and to take a look at these flukes, to meet these dolphins, that we're here to welcome you with open arms, open fins, and open hearts. Robin, we wish you were here as well. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for joining us. We are so grateful that you are showing your support by tuning in every day at 9.30 a.m. Follow us along as we dive into things that we're passionate about here as a company and as a crew. We're here every day being hands-on with our animals and we're just overwhelmed by the, the support that you guys are showing. So thank you so, so much um, and we'll keep coming to you live. Aloha.